So there's a thing called mobile gigabit that you may have heard about recently. It's only available on Samsung's Galaxy S8 for now, but it'll be on Sony's Xperia XZ Premium and a bunch of other high-end phones soon. So you'll probably hear about it a lot more later this year. It's going to be a big deal. Why? Because it makes mobile internet way faster. Like faster than your home internet faster. But before we get into how it does that, let's quickly go over how basic cellular data works. Think of streaming a video or downloading a web page as getting a bunch of people from a radio tower to your phone. Your network is the highway connecting your phone to cell towers, and the data, or people in this analogy, are passengers in cars. The goal is to get all those people to your phone as quickly as possible so that you don't have to sit around waiting. Plus, the sooner your cars get off the road, the more space is freed up for other people to use the highway. So how have carriers been making their networks faster? By improving the highway, of course. One way to do that is by adding more lanes using a method called carrier aggregation. Now there is only so much real estate to expand the highway sideways, so another way to ease congestion is to create lanes that stack on top of each other. That's done through 4x4 MIMO, which stands for multiple inputs, multiple output. It opens up new levels to the carrier highway. Now despite adding lanes and stacking them, carriers still have a problem. There are just way too many people using their LTE networks, and that's causing a digital traffic jam. And there's really not much more networks can do to expand the highway since radio spectrum is limited. So the latest technology looks at the vehicles themselves, and this is what makes mobile gigabit possible. It's called 256 QAM, which stands for Quadrature Amplitude Modulation, and it squeezes about three times more people into each car while maintaining the same access to all four levels of the highway. That's like replacing regular cars with clown cars. More passengers can get where they're going without increasing traffic. In fact, this could even reduce traffic. If more 256 QAM devices replace existing handsets, it will mean fewer but more spacious cars on the roads. This is good news for those who still use regular cars on the highway since there will be fewer vehicles on the roads. Combining these three methods, aggregation to open more lanes, 4x4 MIMO to stack them, and 256 QAM to squeeze more passengers into cars, networks could see speeds go up to 1 gigabit per second. That's 1,000 megabits per second, or about 30 times faster than LTE is these days, which is about 30 Mbps. In the real world, speeds are expected to average between 100 and 300 Mbps, which is disappointing, but still better than most Americans' home internet. The Galaxy S8 is one of the devices Gigabit was demonstrated on, but there should be about eight more compatible phones out by the end of the year. Even if you buy a Galaxy S8 today though, you'll have to wait until your service provider has the equipment to support it. But you won't have to wait too long. Since this tech is part of what will eventually become 5G, carriers have good reason to launch it soon since the new standard is expected to arrive in 2020. In fact, T-Mobile, Sprint, and AT&T already said they would roll out Gigabit by the end of the year. But hey, do not confuse this with 5G. That's a whole other set of standards with even more confusing terminology that will require another explainer video to get through. For now though, suffice to say that Gigabit is coming soon and it looks to be worth the wait.